While most people flock to Banff in the summer to marvel at its mountain peaks, ice fields, alpine meadows, and more, we're not exactly your average tourists. We've decided to shake things up and experience Banff in all its winter glory. Who says we can't take our tropical selves to a place with sub-zero temperatures just to see if we can tough it out? Ay, 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 ay. What are, are you, you kidding me? Oh my goodness! When winter rolls around, Banff transforms into a winter wonderland with fresh snow and frozen lakes. It's perfect for snowmobiling, skiing, ice skating, dog sledding, and more. Let us know in the comments if you prefer national parks in the summer or the winter. Oh, and stick around until the end for our best Banff tips. That Mom. is something I have never seen before. <laughs>1st you're gonna wait seven seconds and then the next person can go after all right it might be hard to see but on those trees down there that don't have any uh, leaves or pines on them there is a very sharp hairpin corner okay so make sure you slow right down for that corner all right make sure you take your time with it I'll be at the top of the section observing making sure we all make it if someone has an issue I'll come back down and help you out That was fun. Woo. Awesome fun. job, everybody. Welcome to the top. Welcome to paradise, as we call it. We can take our helmets off. We'll leave them on the machines because we'll go inside and have a quick warm up, get a hot chocolate, coffee, cookie, tea, whatever you prefer. And then we'll just hang out up here for a little bit before we go play in the bowl. Uh, did you say what? Yes. The hand right? grip. The hand my, grip. My chin so. and right here right. a little bit, but not bad. Yeah. Are you having fun? Yeah. You me So this is the bowl, right? As you can tell, the visibility is very, very bad. Alright, so we're gonna give you guys some free time. But you have to exercise extreme caution in here. I'm gonna follow you! Okay, you ready? Yeah. did our first loop, Scotty came up on me and I heard this ha ha! <laughs> and I turned this way, I was like, what the hell? And I look over and he's right there. <laughs> From the butcher down the street, their local butcher. No, isn't that cool? Oh, sorry, that's pretty cool. No, How's cool. it taste? Tastes great. Oh, nobody. Mm -hmm. We were waiting for you, Phil. Oh. Let's talk about stepping outside my comfort zone. Not only am I up here in the freezing cold, but now I'm up here using an outhouse in the freezing cold. I have to drop trowel and check this out. I couldn't reach the door.
toilet paper, so Phil had to come assist in the outhouse with me. All right. True story. One roll of TP. Thank you very much. Yes. Methods. For the next person. Yeah. And the bad part is, look, my suit. I got to figure out how to take it off. Hmm, that's going to be interesting. Yeah, the guys have the zipper that goes up. That doesn't work for the girls so much. So. And uh, if you notice, we're inside. The snow is still coming in yes, through the door. So <laughs> my butt, look. Yes. <laughs> Needless to say, this is going to be interesting porta potty. Yeah. But what are you going to do? All that coffee's got to okay. go somewhere. All right, you're up. Okay, that was interesting. And I can tell you, my tush knew every time that wind was blowing. All righty, folks, on the way down here, I'm just going to just another reminder about the brake. And the visibility has gone down a little bit. It's gone a little bit worse. So we'll probably be taking a little easier for the top half, and if it gets better for the lower half, we'll speed up again. Well done, everybody. That was awesome. That was, that was, that was cool. That was that so, was so awesome. Was I kept trying to go so today's vacation highlights. Since it's through a blizzard, an hour away from where we are staying, why? So we can sit in that blizzard with a horse-drawn carriage going around a lake with more snow coming down. I don't know. I, I don't know, but that's not usually my idea of vacation. Oh, it's an awesome thing. <laughs> I might be odd man out here, but I'm still I'm still wondering. The roads were pretty bad, but oh, brake lights ahead. People are pulling over. This might be a bad thing. Maybe it's just them. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. What are, are you, you kidding me? Did he just push? Oh, She's peeing. God. Oh lord. She's peeing. Oh, you gotta have this on video. Oh lord. Are you kidding me? Hey there. Wow. I couldn't get it. I mean, she just pulled over and just I would go out. in my seat right before there. I do that in traffic. I'm and sorry. snow, and people are skidding <laughs> on the highway. <laughs> she didn't even get, she just hopped <laughs> out and drove Literally, off. Literally, that just happened. The of the road, so, under a snowstorm, when people so, could go so like. So there. Oh, That my. is something I have never seen before. <laughs> 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 We've seen it in Philly. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, but not yeah, in right. a snowstorm. Not in a snowstorm. It was off I the side of the Ben Franklin Bridge or something like that. That was Wow. We provide, baby. <laughs> she, had those deep, she had those deep squat muscles going. Oh, she's done it <laughs> She moved us. I hope she's on the sleigh ride. <laughs> Good night. You turn a puddle into oceans. You set the galaxies in motion. You see the magic in a single flake of snow. You turn the sidewalk cracks to canyons You are a fire-breathing dragon You follow treasure maps into the wild unknown I want to go with you Yeah, okay <laughs> I want to go with you On a grand adventure I'm along for the ride And I feel it all again Shh, don't be loud Don't brighten us For the very first time Alright, there's a big baby and he's still in On a grand adventure With you by my side Cause I love to see 
Do you remember when I said this in Newfoundland? Do you see these poles? This is how I know I could never live here. This pole means it's going to be buried in snow, possibly this deep. Look, it's almost up to my head. Yeah, this is a state I can only visit in the summer. Well, check it out. Here I am in the middle of winter, in the middle of a blizzard. Okay, so not a blizzard, but a nice snowstorm. And check it out. And it's amazing, and I'm having a great time. Three, two, one. Oh, oh, hey. Oh, that was great. Oh, my goodness. Is it cold? <laughs> All right. Everybody's got their troubles. Everybody's been alone. There's no ah! Hey, you've done this before. <laughs> Get I you. Wear, no, but I felt it whiz by. <laughs> and my back was showing too. <laughs> my shirt went up. This this is packing hard. Perfect. Yeah. This is my first snowball bike since Chicago. Yeah, it's been a minute. Back in the gangster days. <laughs> On a grand adventure I'm along for the ride And I feel it all again It catches you right between the eyes Come on, old man! <laughs> you can't hit the broad side oh. of a floor! Oh. <laughs> oh. Whoa! Yeah! <laughs> Woo! Hey, that went down my back! <laughs> Come on, one of these is going to let yep. it loose. Connect the dots. Right there, stay right, right there, there, Scotty. That's the next right one. Right there, that one's coming. Oh, oh yeah! <laughs> nice, nice. nice. So your first BAMP tip is to make sure you bring your park pass which is one of these. This is an annual Canadian National Park Pass. If you don't have one, when you enter BAMP, be sure and stay to the left so you can either get an annual pass or pay for the day for you and those in your car. If you forget to do this or, like Phil, drive to the right and miss the opportunity to pay, this is what will happen. And you will be immediately told to go directly to a National Park kiosk or entry point to pay or take care of your ticket. So anywhere in Banff, whether you're at a store, hotel, it doesn't matter where, you have to have a National Park Pass to park there. And Phil's dying to say something. So go ahead, Phil. My bad. Bonjour, mon ami. We're here to turn ourselves in. We are uh, <laughs> Narduels. But you have your park pass? we yeah. forgot it yesterday and didn't know we needed it. So we have it today. Yeah, so you need to read the back through, sign your name to validate it. It always needs to be shown, like let it hang on your rearview mirror anytime you're in the national park. So anywhere between here, Golden, up to Jasper and down to Radio Mountain. Okay, so okay. sign it, leave it up there. And we're good to go. What about that what about that piece of paper there? Are we good? I'm just gonna avoid it saying that you have a park pass already. Okay, excellent. Thank, Thank you. you, have a great Thank day. You, Don't know where we go. cool place to come in and check out when it is really cold outside but i gotta tell you the sulfur right neck smell is strong yeah it is super strong in here and right now it feels like negative six outside and in the inside here right now i'm starting to sweat because yeah, we have so many layers warm. on it is very warm
for sure. Okay. Shit, my face is cold. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I am definitely outside my comfort zone right now. It is about, what, negative two? Negative, I don't know. It feels like negative six. I don't know. It's cold. It's very cold. Thankfully, I invested in nice, warm winter gear. I'd be freezing my buns off. But that being said, today is a perfect day for us to find indoor activities. And the one we just left, the cave, was actually where the Canadian National Park System first originated. This place inspired their whole system. And now, of course, as we all know, they have many beautiful parks and many places for us to explore. Yeah, and it was pretty cool because just last year we went through the Cape Breton park scene and they talked about it in here and now we're in the midst of the Banff National yeah. Park. It's really pretty cool. And this is a great stop to come and get your, your history lesson. And stay warm in the yeah. meantime, yeah. <laughs> most importantly. Yeah. Now that you've seen us playing in the snow and having fun in Banff, we're gonna give you some top tips for traveling to Banff. And the first thing is make sure you book your sites, your hotel, your Airbnb early because the inexpensive ones go quick. And if you really wanna save some money, stay outside of Banff in some of the smaller towns like us. We stayed in Canmore. Canmore was an awesome place to hang out. It was a short drive from where we stayed into Banff and Canmore was loaded with restaurants and shops and coffee shops and bars. You name it, they had it. And it's a great town just to walk around and explore just like Banff is. December and January is the peak time to be in Banff if you wanna ski. We were there in February, which means most of the skiers were already gone. So shoulder season, I think, is the best time to go. Less crowds, less people, but still plenty of snow and plenty to do. The one thing you have to know <laughs> before you come to Banff is to brace yourself for the cold, my friends, because we are talking sub-zero temperatures. Yeah, it, it gets cold. Yeah, it was in the negative numbers for us the entire time we were there. And I got to tell you, walking outside, you definitely could tell you were not in Texas anymore because that cold, I mean, it smacked you upside the face. So when you're preparing and packing, make sure you bring your wool underwear because you're gonna need it. And more than just that, you're gonna want parkas, you're gonna want warm, dry boots, scarves, gloves, bring it all because you just might need it. The one thing most people don't think about when they go to Banff in the winter is sunglasses and sunscreen. And let me tell you, the sun beaming off of that white snow will blind you and it'll burn you. So protect yourself. These tips are just the tip of the iceberg <laughs> when it comes to BAMP. We have a whole blog full of more tips, restaurants, what to do, what to see the whole time you're there in BAMP for the winter. So head on over to todayissomday.net and check out the blog. Or drop down below and click the link in the description box. Wait, wait, wait. Just one more thing before we let you go. We would love for you to join us this Memorial Day in a community-wide event. Yep. We are going to be placing flags at some veteran cemeteries, and we would love for you to join us. It's going to be nationwide, and it's a great way to spend Memorial Day and to remember our fallen veterans. Right, and currently we have five different pockets around the country where folks have already signed up and said we'll be here. For more information on the event, head over to our website website todayissomday.net to find a participating cemetery near you or drop down below to the description box and click the link for more from <laughs> infra <laughs> blah, blah, blah. let me slow that down you had the easy part blah, blah, blah. for more information on this one <laughs> what the hell is that it's like one word no <laughs> I can't, I don't know why I can't say that. To I find a participating cemetery near you. Uh, yeah. Fin can't, la, la. Oh. One oh. more. <laughs> you can do it. All right. I want to grab. You actually have to say them. words. I know. I know. We're leaving that out. Um, <laughs> I don't know what I was trying to say. <laughs> what is wrong with I you? No. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't need that. Okay. <laughs> Let's just go. See, I nailed it the first time. No, you didn't. That's not it. It moved. <laughs> Did it move? <laughs> Don't do. Hi. <laughs>